Take a look at any prison. One in nine of the inmates is a black man. But when you're talking education, only 2% of public school teachers are African-American men. How many African-American male teachers have you seen in the classroom? Mr. Ray's the only one I've seen. How do you see a connection between... Marvin Ray teaches world history here at University Prep Academy in Detroit. The first black male teacher for Joshua Baker, and he's a junior. What kind of impact do you make on their life? Um, for me, I think it's important not just to teach, but also kind of be that role model. I've had so many students come up and say, I've never had a black male teacher, or I'm in the 11th grade and you're my first. Ray is a former Morris Hood scholar. The mission of the program, to place teachers in urban schools to show students who look like them, they too can be successful despite the hardships of life. But what kind of challenges do you face in school? Any? School, mainly is finishing school. That's one of the main problems, because usually it's up to a couple of decisions. You're either in the streets or you're in school. I can relate to them on different levels, because I, I can tell them, well, my mom was killed when I was five years old. Yet, I still move forward. And I would tell them that your adversities are either an excuse to give up or inspiration to make these people proud who did care about you, who did raise you. Derek Kellum is the principal at University Prep Academy High School and a former Morris Hood scholar. Despite the suit and tie, he says students see a mirror image of themselves in him. That's what they wanted, for us to be developed in a way professionally as far as leaders and come right back into the community and make and the community pass it better. The MHS program has been passing it forward since 2002 with the motto, each one, reach one, teach one. Their teaching laboratory is the Detroit school systems. This is where they learn to teach. Um, they, if they can get through our program, they can teach anywhere. 53 males are selected each year. Scholars take classes, do community service, workshops, and participate in professional conferences. When we uh, insist that they adopt the term scholars, they tend to start acting like scholars. Demond Washington is a student teacher at Frederick Douglass Academy in Detroit. Working with them is really helping me hone my craft, hone my skills, and just to be an effective teacher. More than 90% of students stay with the program and complete degrees. And from watching Ray and Callum and how their students react to them, it's pretty clear the program is working and changing the face of education for the better. Mr. Ray taught us that he's not only going to teach us world history, he's going to teach us how life is afterwards. 30% of the Moores Hood scholars go on to earn higher degrees and become role models for those who look to follow in their footsteps. Carolyn Clifford, Channel 7 Action News.